Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. Oh, man. George Groves retains his title, his WBA Super World Championship, by defeating Chris Eubanks Jr. And also taking that IBO 168-pound belt off Chris Eubanks Jr., sending him home in shame, man. Chris Eubanks Jr. looking like a straight-up novice in this fight, man. Yo, this is a straight-up hoax right here, Joe. We all was believing that Chris Eubanks Jr. was going to bring some noise in this fight. And he did bring the noise towards the end of the fight. But yet and still, for most of this fight, he was clearly getting out class, man. You know, Chris Eubanks Jr. said before this fight that this is not going to be a fight about skill. This is going to be a fight about will. Well, that's all that Chris Eubanks Jr. seemed to have was will in this fight. Because skill level-wise, he couldn't figure out nothing that George Groves was doing. Joe, he couldn't close the distance. Couldn't get around George Groves' jab. Couldn't cut the ring off effectively. When he had to become, when he was forced to become a pressure fighter, when he no longer had the luxury of trying to outbox George Groves later on in the fight, he did a bad job of it, just swinging all wild, man. Looking clumsily, looking, looking just sloppy, man. Looking predictable. And this is the Chris Eubanks Jr. that's supposed to have been getting developed fight after fight after fight. The one that his 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 super dazzy dressing ass father always running to any interview and any camera that would listen talking about how superior good he is. This is the result that you get from allowing your fighter to go off and not be trained properly. Talking about some Chris Eubanks Jr. trains himself. This is the result of that, man. A fighter that cannot figure out how to, you know... With the, how to handle certain situations. And clearly the night he was in there with a bigger man. He was in there with a more skilled man. And he didn't know nothing what to do. He wasn't given the proper uh, instructions. It's like he was in there lost tonight. And he just went in there on sheer will. On sheer, the sheer fire just trying to knock out George Groves. Looking levels. I repeat levels below George Groves in this fight man. Chris Eubanks Jr. has been exposed, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, totally exposed. I mean, he got totally outclassed. Almost got washed in this fight. I gave him the 12th round, but I wasn't. I mean, that was just because him and George Groves were just slugging it out at that point. It was the fight was damn near over. Groves was using his experience to know that he was so far up on the scorecards that he had it in the bag. I was even shocked from with the the, the judges how close they scored this fight. Man, Chris Eubanks Jr. need to go back to the drawing board. He even looked desperate in his post-fight interview. I tell him, oh, if George Groves showed it, he told him his shoulders hurt and he can't uh, advance, well, that means I might just got to advance. You know, I, I will have to just go keep on going. Nah, bro, you got kicked out of the tournament, man. Take your ass home, man. You and your, your super S saying ass father you know what i'm saying like come on man we don't want to see y'all no time soon man trying to call out caleb truax oh caleb truax got a belt can i get a maybe we can get it in i proved tonight that you know i belong on the world class no tonight you didn't show that you belong on the world class and that was the burning question going into this fight is chris eubanks jr world class material I don't think he's world-class material. He went in there and looked like a straight-up amateur tonight, man. And I actually thought he was going to pull it out tonight. I thought he looked like the more superior athlete, and that's all he was tonight. He was the probably the better athlete. And see, George Groves could have possibly faded a lot earlier. But the fact is that the things that Chris Eubanks Jr. was doing wasn't really tiring out George Groves. Wasn't he, he wasn't even making George Groves have to work too hard. Chris Eubanks Jr. couldn't figure out how to close distance. And the times that he did get to the inside, George Groves did a good job at smothering them punches, man. He was grabbing Chris Eubanks Jr.'s arm, not allowing Chris Eubanks Jr. to get any velocity on those punches. It was just smart boxing. A lot of dirty tactics went on, but it was smart boxing on George Groves' part. Things that Chris Eubanks Jr. seemingly, when he was faced with those things, didn't know what to do. This reflects heavily on Chris Eubanks Sr., who, like I said before, hyping his, his kid up. His kid ain't ready. Still ain't ready. Even from the Billy Joe Saunders fight, still ain't ready. And that was how many moons ago? This was a bad showing by Chris Eubanks Jr., ladies and gentlemen. Totally outclassed. No skill whatsoever. Anytime now he talks about and trying to all that smug attitude that he likes to run around, all this oh, seemingly arrogant attitude that even him and his father be having, that best to go now, man. Because you ain't proving shit. You ain't backing up. You're, you're the way you acting. 
Nobody gonna believe you. Got outclassed, damn near washed. Some some people may even give Groves that final round. That shit was that was crazy, man. I, I just didn't I totally did not expect a showing like this from Chris Eubanks Jr. And you talking about walking out of your father's shadow? Don't see that happening. <laughs> Don't see that happening, man. Chris, <laughs> man. I mean, I just can't get all out. Oh, they built this dude up to be the next, you know, like he was serious. Oh, we taking our time with him. It seemingly like he was doing all the right things. Lining him up with some tomato cans. Kind of build his confidence up. Maybe built his confidence up a little too much. George Groves, man, hats off to him in this entire corner. Showing being composed in there tonight. Seeing that Chris Eubanks Jr. came in there as a one-dimensional fighter. Recognized that earlier on in the fight, using the distance, using the jab, using his footwork very properly. Good head movement, even when Chris Eubanks Jr. was getting in close, smothering Eubanks Jr.'s punches. Once Eubanks got cut in that third round, he really was out of it, man. Faced with that adversity right there, and he was totally out of the fight, Joe. Totally one-dimensional from that point, as if he wasn't already. Came out slow. I'm like, how are you trying to be a pressure fighter or you you want to put George Groves under this pressure in them first couple rounds before he got cut? Man, that pressure was weak. It's like he was timing it at certain times when he was trying to jump in and jump up. But, man, George Groves was just doing effective, just effective boxing, man. Effective boxing, staying on the outside. Hats off to George Groves. They asked George Groves, is this one of the biggest wins of his career? Well, it's hard to say that because Chris Eubanks Jr. ain't nothing but, been nothing but an IBO champion. He ain't been nothing but a uh, he. He's a local level champion. He ain't he ain't world class. So you can George Groves can't even run down the line and say this is a big win for him because technically Chris Eubanks Jr. is unproven at least on this level. So it's just you know he can't even run around and say this is a big win. George Groves wouldn't even look right to run around and say this is a big win because Chris Eubanks Jr. Some of them, a lot of people gonna call him a bum. Simple and Simon. They are gonna call him a bum. <laughs> Got to go in there just, I mean, it was fan friendly, though. I got to admit, man, towards the end of that fight, hey, it was turned up, though, man. Those last couple rounds, I mean, there was times that Groves was getting caught. Like, he, Chris Eubanks Jr. hit him with a good left hook later on in that fight that he didn't follow up with. And after that, he just started to become too wild, and he started to punch himself out. I mean, bad job of cutting the ring off all around the board. Heads off to the World Boxing Super Series, though, man, for the presentation. The presentation was real solid, man. We seen this fight streaming on YouTube, man. Hey, man, I'm going to tell you, if y'all was in that in that building, I know my main man Stephen Gannon was. If y'all was in that building, man, it was. I know it was turned up, man. God, I can't wait to hear about people's experiences at this fight because the, the presentation, solid. We need that type of presentation in America, man. Real talk. Real talk. But good fight. Entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Jo uh, George Groves exposing Chris Eubanks Jr. Chris Eubanks Jr. Back to the drawing board. Nobody's going to want to see you. You can call out whoever you want to call out. True acts. True acts shouldn't even give you the chance today. You know what I'm saying? You ain't bringing nothing to the table. You didn't gain fans tonight. So, I mean, why would True acts fight you? See you later, Sirenara. Go back home. Think about it. As for George Groves, I hope he'll continue to go on in this tournament. He'll be advancing to the championship uh, fight. And, you know, this is going to be good for Groves, man. Good for Groves. Groves is establishing himself. He's took nothing but big fights since he's been at 68. He's establishing himself, who he is, and he's leaving a good legacy behind, man. Continue to reign as champion. Now somewhat of a unified champion. Heads off to Groves. So to the next video, Main Man Made Man. Don't forget to subscribe to Twitter. Made Man 511, Facebook, Main Man Made Man, Boxing Forum, Google Plus, Main Man Made Man. Yeah, man. George Groves. Always, always, he you know, always doubts him, man, because of the way his mental state be, man. That'd be the only reason I always go against Groves. I always say he's a talented, skilled fighter. I thought this was more of a 50 50 fight. I never pretty much gave Eubanks Jr. too much of an advantage on the skill level against George Groves. I just thought he would be the more better athlete. And, but I didn't think he would be this dumb of a boxer and not figure out nothing in this fight. But it is what it is. So, to the next video, peace out. Thank you.